Hi and welcome back. In this video, I will tell you about C functions, how we can write it and what is the use of functions. A function is a group of statement that together perform a task. Here are the some advantages of using functions. Function partitions the large program into set of smaller tasks. Hence, helps to manage program complexity. Smaller tasks are easier to design and debug. Function can often be reused instead of starting over. You can use libraries of functions developed by third party instead of designing your own function. The function may return a result to the caller. One or more arguments may be passed to the function. Here is the example. This is what we call function definition. Function definition provides the actual body of function. Here is the function declaration. Function declaration tells compiler about the function's name and the types of parameter. This one is called function call. We use function call normally in void main function only. Let's consider a, b, c are three different variables of type int. Value of a is 10, value of b is 20. So when I'm writing math underscore function c and I'm passing these values 10 and 20. When the compiler execute this statement, it will directly go to the function definition. It will pass value of a equals to 10 to k and value in b that is 22 variable n. Here int j is a local variable which stores the output after this arithmetic operation and return the result value. The return value will get stored to variable c. In this video, I will tell you about constant and literals in embedded C programming. Constants in C programming language, as the name suggests, are the data that doesn't change. Constants are also known as literals. Integer constant, as the name suggests, are integer values that is number like 1, 20, etc. In C programming language, we can have integer constant of three different base, decimal, hexadecimal and octal. During declaration of integer constant, a prefix is used along with the value to specify the base or radius. For decimal literals or constant, we don't use any prefix. Here is the example. While using hexadecimal constant, you have to use zero cross as a prefix. And for octal constant, you have to use zero as a prefix. Character constant. Character constant holds a single character enclosed in single quotation mark. Here is the example m equals to single quote a. Here the ASCII value of a will get stored into variable m. Character also can hold the integer values. Character also can hold integer values. Here is the example m equals to 0 cross 0 1. The maximum value that this character can hold is depend upon whether the variable of data type signed character or unsigned character. If the variable is of signed character, it can hold maximum 127 value. And if the data type of this variable is unsigned character, it can hold maximum value 255. The next is string constant. String construct consists of any number of consecutive characters enclosed in double quotation mark. Here is the example. My string under double quotation. This string will get stored to my underscore string, this variable of type character. Compiler will interpret this statement as this statement. In C programming language, System internally stores the string as a character array with null character slash zero as a terminator. That is, null character marks the end of string. That's why this string will get internally stored as a character array. Now, let's see what is variable array. 
An array is a set of data stored in consecutive memory locations beginning at a named address. We declare array using name and the number of data elements. Data elements in array are indexed with indices 0, 1, 2, 3 like this. Here is the example. When I write like this int n5 that means I am creating an array of 5 integer values. Suppose I want to write a particular value to this position. In that case, I will use statement n3 equals to 5. That means the value file will get moved to n3. Here 3 is the index of the array. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So 5 will get moved to this position here. Number system. This table shows the conversion of decimal number from 0 to 15 into binary, octal and hexadecimal. This table shows different number system and the number of digits supported by that number system. Decimal Decimal is not but the number we use in our day to day life. Whatever number we write in our day to day life, we use the 10 digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Since we use one or some of these 10 digits in decimal, we say that decimal is having base 10. In digital electronics, we write numbers using only two digit 0 and 1. Whatever number we have in regular, it will be written in digital electronics only by using two digit 0 and 1. Since we use only two digit 0 and 1 in binary, we say that binary is having base 2. Octal is nothing but the number we write using 8 digit 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Since we use one of these 8 digit in octal, we say that octal is having base 8. Hexadecimal number is nothing but the number we write using 16 digit 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E and F. Whatever number we have in regular, it will be written in hexadecimal using these 16 digits. Since we use one or some of these 16 digit in hexadecimal, we say that hexadecimal number is having base 16. Decimal 1 is written as 0001 in binary, the same is written as 1 in octal and same is written as 1 in hexadecimal. But when we write 10 in decimal, the binary conversion is 1010, the conversion in octal is 12 and the conversion in hexa is A. By default, numerical constant are of type decimal. When entering 10, this is the decimal number 10 and not the hex value. Here the table shows the number system and prefix use. For writing binary number and decimal number, we don't use any prefix. But while writing hexadecimal number, we use 0 cross. And for octal, we use 0. Without this prefix, any number will be considered as a decimal number by compiler and hence we need to be explicitly with numbers.
here is the example let's say n is the variable of data type unsigned int and i want to write exact decimal number into this variable then i will write it like this n equals to 0 cross 64 if i want to write a decimal number into this variable i will write it like n equals to 100 and if i want to move octal number into this variable then i would like then i will write like n equals to 0 1 4 4 Okay, now let's quickly go through how we can convert number written in particular number system into any other number system. Suppose I want to convert, I want to find out what is the octal number for 100. How I can find out? The best way is to directly search for calculator on your desktop and select programmer calculator. Once you select a programmer calculator, select or click on DC and type 100. Once you type 100, its equivalent conversion in hex, octal and binary you will get. It's that simple. So what if you know the binary of any number and from that binary number how you can guess what would be the octal or hexadecimal number? Suppose the binary number is 01100100. If I rearrange this number in a group of three digits, then I get like this 001 result into 1, 1004, 100 again 4. So this is nothing but the octal number for this binary. Similarly, if we group this number in four digits, we'll get 01100100. Now, 0110 is nothing but 6, 0100 is 4. So, hence 64 in decimal. This table shows the basic data types supported in C51 compilers their size in byte and the value range. Data type simply refers to the type and the size of data associated with variables. Character data type. The most basic data type in C. It stores a single character and required a single byte of memory in almost all compilers. Character data type is used for characters and strings. The range for signed character is minus 120 to plus 127 and unsigned character is 0 to 255. That means if you have declared any variable with data type unsigned char, in that case, in that variable you can store value from 0 to 255. Int. As the name suggests, int variable is used to store an integer sign short unsigned short signed int unsigned int signed long unsigned long all these are in data types unsigned int it's of 2 byte long and it supports value from range 0 to 65535 most of the data types are signed by default and the character is unsigned by default. Float data type. Now we use float data type for measuring things like second, distance, temperature, etc. Most embedded processors do not natively support floating point math. This means the compiler must use software to support these types. On small 8-bit architecture, floating point math takes up too much code space and execution time to be practical. Hence, we normally avoid use of float data types. Here this table shows the basic data types supported in ARMC compiler. Because the natural data size of ARM processor is 32-bit, it is much more preferable to use int as a variable than short. 
the processor may actually have to use more instructions to do calculation on short than an int in code ported from other platforms especially 8 bit or 16 bit platform the data types may have different size for example int may have been represented as a 16 bit you can see here the size of unsigned int is 32 bit which is nothing but 4 byte but the size of unsigned int in c51 c51 compiler is 2 byte the above data type can introduce ambiguity when porting code from one architecture to next to help eliminate the ambiguity the c99 standard introduces the stdint.h header it defines the following data types unsigned int 8 underscore t int 8 underscore t both are 8 bit integers unsigned int 16 int 16 are 16 bit integers and similarly these two data types support 64 bit integer let's see what are the different arithmetic operations that you can perform in embedded c consider i j k are three different variable of type int m and p are three different variable of type u n i t 8 underscore t add operation is possible in embedded c j plus k the addition will be stored into variable i subtraction operation is also possible embedded c also support multiplication operation here i get multiplied by k since both i and k variables are of length 32 bit so the resulting value will be 64 bit and that will get stored into variable j division operation is also possible in embedded c if we divide number n with p the result is quotient that will get stored into variable m mod operation is also possible n mod of p will result into remainder and the remainder will get stored into variable m embedded c also support arithmetic expressions like this so here arithmetic operation inside the bracket will get executed first and then the multiplication operation get performed multiplication division mod are higher in precedence than addition and subtraction here is the example j multiplied by k plus m divided by n this arithmetic expression will get evaluated as this expression means the multiplication of j and k get performed and division operation of m and n get performed and then at last the addition will get performed here is the basic embedded c program structure the text written in blue and green color are called comments comments are readable text that are written to help us understand code easily they are ignored by compiler and do not take up any memory in the final code there are two ways you can write comments one is single line comment denoted by double slash and other is multi line comment denoted by slash star star slash in c programming language also in embedded c preprocessor directives are usually represented using hash include or hash define in embedded c programming we usually use preprocessor directive to indicate a header file specific to microcontroller or processor which contains all the sfr special function register and the bits in those sfr 
pressure function registers. In case of 8051 microcontroller, we use reg 51.h, this header library, which must be written at the beginning of every embedded C program. Please note, this library can change depend upon the microcontroller and the processor you are using. Global variables. Global variables as name suggests are global to program that is they can be assessed anywhere in the program. Normally global variables are static variables and are placed in RAM memory location. Function is a group of statement that together perform a task. A function declaration tells the compiler about the function's name, return type and the parameter. A function definition provides the actual body of function. Local variable Local variable in contrast to global variable are confined to their respective function. Local variables are automatic type variables. Normally these variables are placed in stack or registers. Every C or embedded C program has one main function from where the execution of program begins. The main function is a core of every program execution. Every program uses only one main function because if program contains more than one main function then the compiler will get confused where to start the program execution. The line while one in a C program or embedded C program create an infinite loop. This is a loop that never stop executing. It execute over and over and over again unless the program is intentionally stopped or there is some condition under this loop that gets made that take the program out of this infinite loop. This is a very common way to code embedded applications. This demonstrate one of the major difference between personal computer program and the program that is designed for embedded system. Why do they contain an infinite loop? While personal computers have an operating system, embedded microcontrollers generally do not. Once a program has been executed on personal computer, it returns control to the operating system of computer. An embedded controller, however, does not have any operating system and cannot be allowed to fall out of program at any time. Hence, every embedded microcontroller application has infinite loop built into it somewhere such as line while one. This prevents the program from running out of things to do and doing random things that may be undesirable.